You guys have seen this backyard before. This is, uh, I think, actually the last video I made with it was probably with this mower, if I remember correctly. But I've just been, I've been riding this mower a lot lately. I love this Great Dane. I absolutely love it. I love being on a stander, to be honest with you. Um, I have been using the Walker B a lot lately, and I will get a bunch more footage of that. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Um, but the Walker B has just been, you know, running phenomenal. It's it just does exactly what I want to do when I want to do it. And as far as cleaning up grass for a double cut, I haven't found anything better. So that'll definitely be one of the things that I look for in the next stander. Um, this stander is everything I want it to be except for no suspension and I have to get off it to adjust the height. So those are two big keys I'll be looking for in the next one. This is my combi. You guys know the Steel KM131R. And I have the sweeper broom for it and the trimmer head, but I recently just went and bought the FCS KM um, straight shaft edger. And I've never used an edger before, so we're going to try this out. there that's pretty sweet it ate right through that like it was nothing I mean the ground is soft but still ate right through it like it's nothing it would have taken me a few minutes with that trimmer to eat right through that that's never been edged huh. that's crazy I guess those things really are as nice as they say but for me it'll be like areas have never been edged before and then I'll maintain them with the trimmer. I won't use that all the time. It's just for a solo guy to run around, trim out a whole property, go back to the trailer, put the trimmer back, grab the edger, then go edge everything, then come back, then mow, then come back, then blow everything off. That's just too much. All right, real quick, I obviously am not mowing this property that fast. Uh, this is the hill, the one that I always use the Ferris walk behind on. In the last couple weeks, I've mowed it with this, uh, with the Toro. It, it does a great job and it actually leaves it looking 10 times better than the Ferris does. And, uh, you know, push more will do that, but it kicks my butt and, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot steeper than it looks. Like I've said a million times, I just can't express that enough. One day I'll finally figure out how to show it for what it really is, but, uh, it, it's hot. It's been pouring rain for two weeks, uh, almost every single day. And the last three days, it's been in the mid to high 80s. So it, it's going to go back down again tomorrow, but it, it's been hot. Mow, and mowing this like this, good Lord. Wouldn't want to do that with a 21 inch push mower. I have. Oh yes, I have. Woo. It's hot. Where am I going to put you for a minute? Take a break before I go mow the rest of all that. That big landing down there, I have to mow. That's going to kind of like wrap you around the steering wheel here. I'm going to put you up here. You're going to get like an aerial view of my ugly mug. How's that? It's got to be up close. It's got to... I don't know. So I'm trying to decide. This is a camera I use for everything. My GoPro sessions. I have this old girl. My GoPro Hero. I used this for a couple years before I got the sessions. And <coughs> the sessions just blows 
all the other GoPros out of the water as far as I'm concerned. It's so easy to use and so small and you can hide it on properties you don't exactly want people to see you filming but so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to bring with me to GIE if I'm gonna bring the sessions which is my go-to camera water with orange meal so good I'm deciding if I'm gonna bring the sessions um, or if I'm going to bring my Canon, I have a Canon like, I don't know, how can I explain this? Like what you see Chant or Blake or Brian or Andy from Cut and Clean, what you see all those guys walk around with a full big digital camera. I have one of those. I bought it last year. It's a beautiful camera, but other than taking pictures, I've never used it. I've never even done video on it. so. I'm going to decide if I'm going to bring that with me or if I'm going to bring this one. I don't know. The only bad thing about this one is, you know, once it dies, the battery lasts quite a while, but once it dies, then you got to plug it in there. You can't swap out a battery. And with my Canon, I don't have a spare battery for it anyway. I was thinking about bringing them both, and then once one dies, if I'm like in the middle of something where I can't charge it, then I'll just swap out to the other camera. That way I'm not without, because I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of filming. So maybe I'll just do that. I don't know. And the Walker B, of course, I mowed the big lower landing of the hill that you just saw me mow. Uh, I mowed it with the Walker B and uh, section in through there. You've seen that before. Um, I, I record that little section there, but I always blow my mowers off before I put them away. Even the old Great Dane, rusty and trusty, that gets blown off too before I put them away after almost every single lawn. Sometimes I just don't get that chance, but I try to. And uh, that's why, that's how I take care of my equipment. That's why I last. But, you know, there's the hill that I just push mowed, and then there's the big landing down below. Uh, you can't see it out there, but there's a jet pool or jet whirlpool boat out there. 